The epoch-making events marked the beginning of a new millennium for the Russian civilization and for our armed forces. To make sense of what is happening and to understand our history, the board of directors found it necessary to set up the Association Club of Military Philosophers. Our society has been working for a decade now, and we have gained a lot of experience. That is why we want to analyze it and make a solid foundation based on historical memory of the great victory, the memory of the great patriotic war, and historical memory of heroism of the Soviet people. The foundation will help solving social challenges and become a symbol and guidance for the Russian society inherited the great victory. Для решения социальных задач. As part of the celebration of the 65th anniversary of victory over fascism, a delegation of the Mega National Association of Unions of the Armed Forces Officers visited Austria, Hungary, and Slovakia. The main purposes of the trip were as follows. To participate in the scientific and practical conference, the Second World War, 65 years of victory over fascism, and to take part in memorial wreath laying ceremony at the monuments dedicated to Soviet soldiers who sacrificed their lives in the name of liberation of Europe from Nazism. Vienna remembers, remember the Alps and the Danube. The 11th of April 2010, 2 p.m., Moscow, Embassy of the Slovak Republic. You are coming to Slovakia. This is already the second conference focused on the Second World War lessons. Of course, the visit of our president had a dramatic impact on the event. Three Russian veterans were awarded the highest orders of Slovakia at the presidential palace, and in return, our three World War II veterans were also awarded the Order of Friendship by Dmitry Anatolievich Medvedev. З другої сторони наші три учасники Второї мірової війни теж були награджені орденом дружби, який вручав Дмитрій Анатолійович Мерлин. At the outset, Mr. Ambassador, we would like to express our heartfelt gratitude to you and to the Embassy staff for the invitation and organization of our visit. As you see, our delegation members are mature. Everyone is a war veteran. Some of them are about 80, others about 85. We voice the hope that the visit will become another step forward in strengthening our fellowship, both for veterans and the use of Slovakia and Russia. You belong to yourself, your history and your heroism. Yes, almost everyone is 90 now. That is why there is a need to make use of age and experience of veterans. It's high time the last of the Mohicans of that war told us how it was as they had come through it. Your organization does not merely draw up some programs or hold conferences and events. Along with that, you make other people know about you through books, movies, etc. This is absolutely right. On behalf of our delegation, I would like to present you a souvenir from Moscow. Thank you. Moscow, Vienna. Vienna, area Schwarzenberg Platz, monument to Soviet soldiers. Vienna, you are so beautiful and unusual, really unusual. There is no city like this. Вие 
Carried out by the Second Ukrainian Front, the Vienna operation started from the territory of Hungary, followed by a rapid advance of our troops to Vienna. Vienna was liberated and the Soviet troops were strictly ordered to prevent any damage. So it was done. Alternatively, the Americans bombed Vienna and destroyed historical monuments. The victorious spirit of the Soviet army was soaring in the air and soldiers were sure that they would be in Berlin soon. And everyone wanted to survive, see Berlin and start a new life after the war. On the 15th of August 1945, the monument was officially unveiled. The ceremony was attended by government officials who came here on foot. Among those visitors were Foreign Minister Figel, the Chancellor Malinovsky, Tolbukhin and Kisilov. Team has an artillery marshal who was present at the monument unveiling ceremony. During the unveiling of the monument in Vienna, I belonged to an, an officer guard reserve group. It was a glorious event and a lot of people were there. Citizens of Vienna took it as a must because the Soviet army liberated Vienna and got rid of the Brown Plague. And I am so proud to have witnessed the significant event 65 years ago. Budapest, Buda Castle. This is the Buda Castle's oldest street called Tarno. And mind that every building is an architectural monument. Now we are arriving to Budapest's oldest cemetery of Karebish. Yeah. 
Ветеран. This is a veteran of the Hungarian army. Am I right? Well, he served in a guerrilla organization rather than in the army. Radar, radar, oh, this is a signal man. Without license, there is no command and control. Oh, locator technicus. Colonel Butesh of the Hungarian army. In fact, he served in the Soviet armed forces. He withstood the entire war from Moscow to Berlin and to the Elbe. Michael Danilovich reached Berlin too. And how old are you? 87. You see, we captured Berlin together. We did. The 16 guards red banner Suvorov's order brigade of Katusha's. Of the Katusha's motor brigade used to provide a solid support to us and infantry units. We did our best and the infantry was glad to see us advancing. <laughs> Dear veterans of Hungary, we have arrived from Russia, Moscow, and we would like to pay tribute to the memory of the Soviet Red Army soldiers who perished in the name of liberation of Europe. Today, we are bound to express our gratitude that you had fought shoulder to shoulder with our veterans, that you still own the memories of fallen soldiers, the Soviet Union, our country and friendship that binds us together and will bind not only us, but also the future generations of our countries. On behalf of our organization, I would like to hand you Veteran Movement Contribution Medals. This is my wife, and her mother was a frontline nurse liberating Hungary. This is her grandson, and that is little great-grandson. We have come here to honor her memory. We are war veterans, and on behalf of the veterans of Hungary, we would like to express our gratitude that you liberated Hungary from the Nazi yoke. For the rest of our lives, we will be loyal friends of the Soviet Union soldiers and Russian soldiers. Thank you. Bivšim soldatom, sovjetskom sojuzam i sičas Rusiji.
Спасибо. Спасибо большое. Спасибо вам. В 45 году, в марте месяце, мне в составе... In March 1945, as part of the 9th Guards Army, the 440th Artillery Regiment of the 140th Division participated in the Vienna operation and at the same time performed the mission for Hungary liberation. The heroic time was difficult, but along with that it encouraged us as we saw ordinary people meeting the Red Army with sympathy, coupled though with hope. As you know, the robust liberation movement was successful. On the 13th of April, Vienna was liberated, and by the time, Budapest was seized as well. We felt that the victory was close, and the sensation made us moving forward. Мы чувствовали, что победа близка. И вот оно, вот это чувство, оно нас вело вперед. Speaking of a cemetery, it is still associated with melancholy, but as the saying goes, those survived express their respect by visiting the place and they honor memories of those who joined the silent majority. Bratislava Crown Plaza Hotel Good afternoon. Allow me to warmly welcome you in Bratislava. I am very glad that I can welcome you in Slovakia's capital of Bratislava, and I have the opportunity to show you the city. This is a Napoleon soldier statue. Napoleon himself called one of the Parisian streets as Fresburgske Street. Bratislava, Bratislava Castle. Bratislava, Slavin Hill, Soviet Soldiers Memorial. The place saw so many fallen Russian and Soviet soldiers, though a breath of victory was already in the air. They were young and wanted to leave. They felt the breath of victory and, however, kept on going to machine gun fire. That's the way they did.
this stele is visible all around Bratislava. Is this an artificial hill? No, no, it is a natural one. It naturally belongs to the small Tatra mountains. 6,845 fighters are buried here. A hospital of the Red Army used to be here. If you walk around the monument, you'll see an inscription with the names of Dukli and Bratislava cities and the dates of the liberation of Banska Bystrica, Zvolin and Zhilina. In other words, pivotal points of liberation of the then Czechoslovakia. The president of the Russian Federation was here a fortnight ago and made statements at ceremonial events. Bratislava, Ministry of Culture of the Slovak Republic, Scientific Practical Conference, World War II, 65 years of victory over fascism. Allow me to declare the scientific and practical conference World War II, 65 years of victory over fascism, open. Dear veterans, ladies and gentlemen, and dear friends, on behalf of our delegation, on behalf of all Russians, I would like to congratulate you on our shared victory. Over the recent 10 years, Jointly with general public and scientists from various countries, our National Association of Reserve Officers of the Armed Forces held a number of scientific conferences on the Second World War results. In Moscow, we held a conference on the Battle of Moscow, in Volgograd, on the Battle of Stalingrad, in Oryol and Belgorod, on the Battle of Kursk, and in St. Petersburg, on the Battle of Leningrad. Apart from that, some time ago, our delegation held conferences in the USA, in Washington, and Boston, and in the UK. During a recent visit to Egypt, we met with our American and English colleagues in the Library of Alexandria to discuss a correlation between the 1942 Battle of El Alamein and the Battle of Stalingrad. About 400,000 veterans of the Great Patriotic War are living in nowadays Russia. Among our delegation members there are veterans of the Second World War. It should be noticed, they are not merely veterans, they began the war in the heart of Moscow in Leningrad and then fought for liberation of the Central Europe as part of the Red Army units. We would like future generations of the Slovak Republic in Russia to know the whole truth about the war, and I wish them being friends and exchanging visits. Hopefully, they'll never suffer the bitterness of defeat. God forbid them to endure what our honored veterans have passed through. Thank you for your victory, and I call on the younger generation to live in peace. То, что пережили вы, дорогие ветераны. Спасибо вам за вашу победу и призываю молодые поколения. Давайте жить в мире. Over the last 20 years, Slovakia has published no popular science works. It is necessary to study Russian archives. It is necessary to promote for availability of Russia's archives of the Great Patriotic War. A terrible threat was looming over our country, however, it was equally dangerous for the nations of Europe as well. It was a matter of life and death. By the 22nd of July, 1942, 
Europe was dominated by fascism, and the year 1945 promised to put an end to it. Still, the decisive role in the victory belongs to the Red Army and the Soviet Union. Three fourths, in other words, 75 percent of the manpower and military equipment of the Nazi troops were destroyed on the Soviet German front. The experience gained in the war years and during the Second World War as part of the anti fascist coalition and the background of the Warsaw Pact are very rich and diverse. I would like our distinguished representatives, scientists and military men to summarize the experience to be used for strengthening our cooperation between the Russian Federation and the Slovak Republic in the name of peace in Europe and throughout the world. If we ask ourselves why our soldiers and officers who already felt the breath of victory so bravely and selflessly fought the enemy, sacrificing their lives far from their homeland, there could be only one explanation to this. Soldiers' strength was encouraged not only by natural courage and patriotism, but also humanity and devotion to the great international duty. Despite fatigue, sleepless nights and four months of continuous offensive, fighters were hurrying to rescue the people of Slovakia in trouble. They did what they could. Thank you that you remember how many soldiers perished on your land and that you treat graves and monuments to Soviet soldiers with such love. Every war brings sorrow. It is associated with the loss of our military friends, our mothers and our countrymen. As we see it, the first objective of the members of the National Association of Reserve Officers is to convey to all the truth about the war. Secondly, together with you we must make the memory of our fallen comrades always remain in the hearts of the living. Both your country and Russia are witnessing profound changes. We also have the polarity of political views. There are a lot of parties, a lot of discussions and criticism, including criticism of Russia's history and, of course, of the Second World War. But there is one day in a year which brings together our entire nation. The day is the 9th of May, 1945, the Victory Day. We want to sincerely thank the Slovak people for keeping the memory of our Red Army soldiers. Thank you that we fought together, and thank you that today you are keeping the ties of friendship with the Russians. From the viewpoint of thinking and adequate comprehension of the Second World War and subsequent events, the present time is a complex one. I would like to draw attention of your historians to literature published in Slovakia, and I'll try to help you with it. 
познакомились с тем, что выходит в Словакии, и постарались как-то привести в такое состояние, чтобы это стало быть понятным. Не только военные Словацкой Республики, но все жители. Both the military and all people of the Slovak Republic deeply respect the feats of valor of the Red Army and its military commanders to liberate our country. We discussed all the events of the Second World War and how and what can be done in the future to pass over the baton of the knowledge to the youth. Заключение, как и что сделать в будущем, в основном, как передавать э, стафету э, молодой, молодым людям, чтобы удержать все знания. Братислава, Embassy of the Russian Federation. For several years, Slovakia has had a special attitude to the war and history associated with the war, to the memory of our soldiers perished here in meetings of veterans. Given Slovakia's adequate and civilized comprehension of the war, from the viewpoint of education, it is of great importance for the youth to realize that our past contacts were of vital importance as our nations jointly combated fascism. A lot of efforts were put in the struggle. Such things and facts should make a foundation for relevant mindset of the youth. Summary. The trip is good and emotional. We have visited the cemetery in Hungary, where heroic freedom fighters for both their own and other countries as well rest in peace. Yesterday someone said that wearing Soviet orders was prohibited in Hungary. Do you think it favors explaining the truth about the struggle against fascism, the truth about the victory, the very truth? Another emotional moment is a meeting with a Hungarian veteran who fought with the First Belarusian Front in the direction of Berlin. It turned out that we served with the same First Belarusian Front and fought together in the Battle of Berlin. Who was in Berlin? We were. We captured Berlin together. Yes, we did. You see, we captured Berlin together. I did not expect this, but now I will memorize it. Especially I memorized the story told by Tanya Kanchina about her mother who had served here as a nurse and fought with the troops. Local residents treated them with apples. She even burst into tears as it is a very touching story. The conference we have held today can be called an event. It's been a long time since veterans of the two countries that played during the Second World War a decisive role both in the Central Europe and also in the defeat of the Nazi troops met in such a format. There is no place for embarrassment while telling the truth about the war and great feat of valor committed by our ancestors for other countries and nations. We were touched a lot by the heartfelt reception shown us by the Slovak side and our embassy. I can say with good reason that our mission was a noble one and very cordial. Military Philosophical Society and the Board of Directors of the Megapure National Association of Unions of the Armed Forces Reserve Officers 
express their sincere appreciation to. Joseph Migish, Ambassador Extraordinary and Plenipotentiary of the Slovak Republic to the Russian Federation, for the project's support and assistance in its implementation. Anatoly Kumakov, International Programs Coordinator, for the development and organization of the visit of the Megapeer Association delegation to Slovakia, Hungary and Austria. František Blanarik, Chairman of the General's Club of the Slovak Republic, for the project support and assistance in its implementation. Bushev Alexander, Director of the Russian Center for Science and Culture in Bratislava, for the project support and assistance in its implementation.